So, so today we're gonna be taking a look at some of the worst television shows that have ever existed. You all love reaction videos, right? I'm definitely not doing a reaction video to cover up the fact that I don't have any content, so I'm just gonna react to someone else's content. I'm kidding. I try not to just watch a video when I do reaction videos. Hopefully it's more entertaining than that. Anyway, throughout the years, people have made some really bad television shows. So I researched and I found the absolute worst and I thought it'd be fun if we go through them today. What you might see in this video may shock you. So I want to start off with this one. A TV show that only one country would ever do. Japan. Before I even explain, let's just watch a clip. Um, it's a Japanese game show, by the way. Okay, so if you're unaware, uh, those are two asses on the wall. The butts of two humans on a wall. Nothing weird about that. Okay, he's analyzing the asses. What are they doing? This is a Japanese game show. You eat ass to win. That's the game. How do I sign up? Oh, why are they kissing them like that? It's so passionate. Ah -ha! So one of them is kissing a guy's ass instead, and that's the game. You have to pick the correct ass. Only Japan would do this. I love it. Oh, he kind of likes it. She doesn't like it. My god, they're giving the ass a hickey. Like, do you get more points the harder you suck the ass? I like how in the beginning they made it like an epic battle. They were like, this guy versus this guy, and it's really just a game that you kiss ass. This is my favorite part when they're trying to analyze the ass, like, hmm, which ass looks less manly. Well, that was interesting. Uh, I, I, I can do a whole, a whole video just on Japan. There's just so much weird stuff they do there. Okay, next show. I remember hearing about this one like two years ago and I just thought, why? It's a British show. It's called Sex Box. In a few minutes, a couple will enter this box, they'll have sex, and then immediately afterwards come out and talk frankly about what they did. To me, a panel of internationally renowned sex experts and in front of our studio audience. Welcome to Sex Box. Okay, so if you didn't get that, the idea of the show is they bring a struggling couple on with like sex experts and then the couple goes into this giant box on stage has sex in it and then they come out and talk about it with the experts and this is all in front of a live audience why does that need to be a show like imagine having kids like one of those couples have kids and then they later find out that their mom and dad went on a show called sex box and had sex in a box on stage so describe to me the adrenaline rush of basically having sex in front of a live studio audience. You know, a lot of it was just, you go into the box and that's what is happening, that's what you're doing, you're gonna go and have sex. And so, um, there was a couple of cheers and it kind of made me feel, I don't know if we just gotta get a live <laughs> studio audience now, but maybe we just need some cheers, but no, it was great. It, it seemed like you're going into this room to do this, and um, it, it was definitely clarity in our relationship. So these people needed to get cheered from the audience and then have sex in a box on TV to fix their relationship, Huh. Just imagine how awkward it must be to be in that audience and they go in the box and I feel like they're gonna cheer and then it's just gonna be awkward silence after that. Like I've been to a showing of The Price is Right and at times like when they go to a commercial it just becomes completely silent and it's a little weird. So I would imagine this show is really weird and awkward to be in the audience. But okay, whatever. The show is weird. It's a weird idea. But I found this clip from the show and it's it's gross. Start spanking and where did that go? Did you have intercourse, did you have oral sex? What? It's more like obviously licking her out and. Can you just say oral sex? <laughs> oral sex. Okay, thank you for being <laughs> thank here. You thank you so you. much. Summer Carl, everyone. Thank you. Thank thank you. Guys. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Did you just see that? Why did he kiss the host? This couple just had sex in the box like 10 minutes ago, and now they're talking about how they gave oral, and then he just kisses the host when he's saying goodbye. Did he clean his mouth? Anyway, I feel like this show kind of exploits people's intimate lives um, for entertainment and for money, for the people who made the show. Moving on, the next. Why does it look so yellow all of a sudden? Can we go back? Moving on, the next show. This show lasted a total 
of one episode. It was a sitcom called Hail Honey, I'm Home, and the main character is Hitler. Hail Honey. Hail Honey. Hail Honey. Hail Honey. Hello, I'm home. Look at the Hitler. Neil McCall as Adolf. <laughs> Who thought that this would be a good idea? Like for real, I want to meet them. I want to understand why they did this. What did I do now? The acting is really incredible in this too. Hail honey me. What did I do now? Who talks like that naturally? You must be real mad at me, honey. I'm a very, very bad Hitler. <laughs> Come here. Ah, oh, it's so cringy. What kind of joke was that? A very, very bad Hitler. Bad Hitler. Beers, you forget about Czechoslovakia. You'll think, hey, this Adolf Hitler is a regular guy. <laughs> Ah, come on, babe. Just relax. Here comes the tickle monster. <laughs> oh, no, just stop. No, stop. I'm gonna stop watching this. I want to jump off my balcony. You can watch the full episode on YouTube if you ever want to watch it with your friends or something. It's fun to hate watch this because it's so stupid, the show. I like the comments. This is one of the best animes. I give it a 9 out of 10. Next, it's another game show. It's an American one, I believe, which doesn't surprise me because it involves a disgusting amount of food. And hey, that's America. So the show is called Hurl. Good evening and welcome to Hurl. Tonight, five competitors will test themselves with an eating contest followed immediately by extreme activities designed to shake them up. That's right, our contestants play by one simple rule. Whoever eats the most and hurls the least wins. And you can win a lot, $1,000 in prize money. So basically, this entire game is they make people eat food and then they make them throw up entertainment at its finest. Also, only a thousand dollars prize. You know, they, this show makes so much off the contestants and they pay them just a thousand. Tom, tell them what's on the menu. Guys, that's the beef from 20 pounds of ribs. You have five minutes to eat as much as you can. Top three eaters advance, go. There's the horn. And the ribs round begins. Some of the meat is still on the bones and some has been removed for ease of eating. That's right, we're tracking exactly okay, how much- Okay, this show is boring. The entire show is just them eating an unhealthy amount of food and then swimming after, that's it. The show isn't entertaining at all. It's not funny, it's not dramatic. The only entertainment value you get is people throwing up. I actually watched this whole episode and it was down to the last two people and they weren't throwing up, so they just made them belly flop in the pool. Anyway, bad show, moving on. Next one, I don't know that much about this show, but it was on a show called PBS Many Voices, Many Visions from a long time ago. And I'm gonna warn you, this is probably the worst one I'm gonna talk about today because it's racist. It is just a racist kids show. So to kind of set it up, this girl right here, she got a perm and people are making fun of her for it. Hey Fuzzy, you look like a boy. There you, does that look like a boy? No, but it doesn't look like you either. You look like a boy, a little boy, a little black boy. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, what did he say? You can't go to school. It's awful. My hair. Lily said I look like a black boy. You look like no such thing. It looks cute. It does not. Oh, come on. <laughs> it really suits you. Besides, it's just a perm. Your hair will grow again. And it's not like you're really black. What the fuck? How did this go on TV? Like, I know racism was worse back in the day, but this is too much. This was the 80s. Who made this show? What is wrong with these people? The thing I really hate about this is that some like old guy from the 80s probably wrote this and he's making kids say it, which is extremely fucked up. Who's there? I'm a, I'm a who? I'm a tired of knocking, so I'm coming in. Oh, that, that was a sick knock-knock joke. I'll, I'll give her that. Okay, we're done with this stupid show. It's very racist. It's good to know that if something like this came out now, whoever made it would hopefully become like public enemy number one. And finally, the last one. I don't really have that much to say about this other than it's creepy. It's called Peppermint Park and it's meant to be a kid show and I think it's known as one of the creepiest kid shows to ever be made. So get your mom on speed dial. Okay, I haven't watched much of this one yet. The song is good though. So I'm over this song, let's get to it. Hey gang, it's me, Ernie. Today on Peppermint Park, 
We're introducing the letter M. Oh, okay. I definitely see why people think this is creepy. Oh, I hate his hands and his mouth. I want to kill him. Today on Peppermint Park, we're introducing the letter M. It's such a great letter. Just think of all the words that start with M. Oh God, he's gonna break out in a song about the letter M. <laughs> it's marvelous, magnificent. I can't imagine. Come on, gang. Sing the song along with me this time. No, no, I'm good. Also, watch with his voice. Why does his voice just always crack? Today on Peppermint Park. Today on Peppermint Park. I was skimming through other videos of Peppermint Park and every single one of the characters is so creepy. Like, look at them. This is supposed to be a kid show. How do you like waking up, eating breakfast, and watching this? Okay, well that was interesting. That's all the TV shows that I'm gonna talk about today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I just said that twice. Sorry that this video came out a day late. I'm getting a little tired of the whole schedule uploading because sometimes just videos take longer or I want to develop the idea more or I'm just feeling off a day so it kind of messes up my schedule. And if that happens, because I say I'm gonna post on Wednesdays, it makes me like very rushed and it makes it hectic and I get stressed. So I'm not gonna stop uploading Wednesdays. Almost every video will always come out on a Wednesday, but every once in a while um, I might post a little late. I also have a very big announcement that I've been dying to let you guys know about and that's coming later this week or next Wednesday. Anyway though, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, whenever you're watching this. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you later this week.